Hello and welcome back to Colonial Airstream. I'm Patrick Botticelli and today is the second day of our Discover America sales event here at our dealership in Millstone Township, New Jersey. Today, I'm gonna to go through a whole bunch of used Airstream travel trailers with you, October 7th, 2023, which happens to be my birthday. Fun fact, I actually started here a day before my 21st birthday in 1997. We'll start over here at this base camp. So we got a lot of used inventory right now, and it's nice that I can showcase all different models. I got some cool stuff out there. I have an original base camp. I have some nests, classic base camps. I have a lot of different stuff. 2021 Airstream Base Camp 20X. 4,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating. X package gives you the rock guards over the body and glass. You get the axle lift with the larger rims and tires. This is equipped with 180 watts of solar on the roof, AGM batteries, air conditioning up top, 13,500 BTU. So these aren't gonna be full walkthrough videos like you guys are familiar with, but I'm gonna go over in some of the highlights and kind of go through them quickly so you can see a lot of different things. So stick along. Dining table folds down, makes into a bed. You got plenty of storage underneath. You got this full panoramic view all the way around. You got some storage cubbies up top, microwave, 12 volt refrigerator with freezer on board. You got some storage compartments here. This has heated tanks on board. You got a center galley kitchen with a gas cooktop. Nice size sink. All the storage down below here. There's a tankless water heater on board. Fantastic fan on the ceiling. Look at the headroom. I'm five feet nine and I got plenty of room above my head. Wet bathroom, wet bath over here. You get your toilet, dumps into a black tank, separate grayways tank for your sink and shower. You got a window in this bathroom, bathroom fan. When you stand inside, you're over the toilet. This curtain covers the door. There's plenty of room to shower and do what you got to do in here. It's a very efficient use of space. Now on a used trailer, these people have bought a mattress topper that goes on top of these cushions, but it's not always necessary. You could sleep on the cushions as is. You could do twin beds, you could do a double bed across the back, or you could fold it into one mega queen size bed. The table's lower, there's lower legs for them, and then the benches all fold together, and that gives you a platform. You got a rear door that you can load all your cargo and gear inside. There's uh, some tie downs on the floor, so if you wanted to load in a canoe or kayak or a bike, you can. There's storage underneath the bench, and uh, very popular model. I have a few 2023 leftovers. There's some rebates right now on those. I have 2024s in stock. Great condition too. <clears throat> My Airstream customers, they really do take care of their trailers extremely well. And the resale value is tremendous on Airstreams. For me selling Airstreams since 2002, when we started selling Airstreams here, the resale values have always proven to be excellent. This is a Base Camp 2022 16X, the smaller version of this. It's shorter, narrower, in all dimensions. You can actually fit this inside of that one. That's how much smaller it is. Two 20 pound propane tanks up front, manual hitch jack, two and five sixtieth inch ball. This is an X, so it has the rock cards over the glass. One step on the small, although I had two. This is an X, so it does have an axle lift of bigger rims and tires, but it doesn't sit as high as the 20 foot Base Camp. Some of the things I didn't show you in the last one, retractable screen, has a privacy shade in the door. When you walk inside, you can see there's a little bit less ceiling height in here, still fine, 5'9 person. You got some storage here with USB. Look at this. The other one had the panoramic view with the dinette in the front. This one has the panoramic view with a whole kitchen in the front. So you'd be here prepping and doing all your meals and you can look out and see what's going on. If you don't want people to see you, these all zip up and you get privacy shades. You got two storage cubbies here, two burner gas cooktop. You got some outlets that will work when you're plugged into shore power, a sink. Open this, you got some additional storage, your silverware, fun fact. Batteries are located underneath there. You lift up the floor and there's a battery box for your two AGM batteries. Fridge with freezer, all 12 volt. You can take your boots off and put them there. A rack, more storage. There is a lot of different places to put stuff. Bathroom's very similar to the last one, except it doesn't have the window. Toilet's over here instead of over here. Plenty of room though, and it's a nice height toilet. It's not like on the floor. Smaller uh, 9800 BTU air conditioning on this. The bed area is very similar, it's just they're not as long as the other ones. These are 72, the other one's 74. Still lifts up to get access to all your storage. 
and you can still load things through the back door. And you got a privacy shade, insect screen, reading light, dry erase board, and some pockets in the back door. And then for windows, you got these vent windows that open all the way out. Lock in place. You got one on this side and you got one on the other side. And the windows are all tinted, have insect screens on the ones that open. All right. And then look at this, the back of the trailer goes up. That's your departure angle. This has stabilizer jacks all four corners and your spare tires underneath. And it's all wrapped up in aluminum underneath. So you got an enclosed underbelly. Beautiful taillights in the back. Moving on, we have a Flying Cloud 2018 23CB. CB stands for corner bed. It's a corner rear bed. 23 foot ball to bumper, eight feet wide. <laughs> nine and a half feet tall interior headroom on this it has ducted air so it's a little bit higher six foot seven double entry step two thirty pound propane tanks up front six thousand pound gross vehicle weight rating dry weights around five thousand pounds you get two agm batteries this has 90 watts of solar on the roof you get this front dining area this whole thing folds down makes it into a bed you got a storage over here here this slides out makes it into a bed the color scheme on this one this is the wild honey. Look at that panoramic view. Roof lockers here, Blu-ray player. You got some Vista view windows, nice big windows on this side. TV swings around so you could use it in the bedroom. Five cubic foot automatic two-way gas electric refrigerator, optional upgraded convection microwave. Storage over here, storage underneath. You got your trash pail in here. Nice size sink. These things are, Thick and heavy. They're not gonna be all dented up on you. Three burner gas cooktop with ventilation, oven, pantry, pantry, double wardrobe, his and hers, down the hall. Privacy curtain to shut the hallway off. Little vanity outside the bathroom. Uh, gas electric water heater, 48 by 75 inch bed with storage below. Second fantastic fan. And you can see the ducted air conditioning. These are all the little registers and these are intakes here. It's called quiet stream for a reason because it, it's, it's very quiet. Bathroom door, see how it cuts in like this? It allows you to make the bed and get in and out of bed easier because when you're not using the bathroom, why do you need it to get in the room? When you're in the bathroom, it pops out this way and it gives you more room. On and off the toilet, getting dressed. Showers all fiberglass, roll away door. There is a vent fan up here. And the doors gap so you could use your fantastic fan. Black tank, to toilet dumps into that. That's uh, 18 gallons, 21 gallon gray waste tank. You got about a 30 gallon fresh water tank on this model. Very open floor plan. This sleeps up to six people, believe it or not. It's insane. All right, one in front of us, we have a Bambi. Bambi is a lighter weight. A little bit more basic level than what we have today, uh, Flying Cloud or Caravel. There's no rear bumper. It's got the regular windows instead of like the hand riveted Airstream windows. Very popular, about half of our sales are split between Bambi and Caravel in this, this size. Up front here, this is a 2021 by the way, and it's a 19 CB floor plan, corner bed. Manual hitch jack, two and five sixteenth inch ball, 5,000 pound gross fake weight rating, 4,000 pound dry weight, two 30 pound propane tanks, two AGM batteries on board, spare tires underneath, heated tanks with closed underbelly, zip the awning, screen door detaches from the main door. Look at that, snaps right in. Doors all insulated. This has uh, the Transcore composite floor underneath it. It was a new feature. Any trailer made after January 1st, 2020, except for the base camp, will have the Transcore composite floor underneath the vinyl floor. Front dinette, just like in the last trailer, it's a Performance X cloth. You got a storage drawer over here, fresh water tanks underneath the trailer, heated, insulated, roof locker storage. This trailer and the last trailer have backup cameras on board. These are the timbre doors. Full blackout, privacy curtains all the way around. This has solar on the roof. You got a little wine rack over here, some storage, sink. These windows kick out on the bottom, just like that. Insect screen, two burner gas cooktop, regular microwave, little drawer below. 
Now this doesn't have adducted air, so you can see how this sticks down. So you got six foot four interior headroom, plenty for me at 5'9". Two fantastic fans, storage above the fridge, 12 volt compressor style fridge. Storage below, got storage below the bed. 48 by 75 bed. TV swings around so you could use it up front in the dining area. USB charge ports there. Same type of bathroom as the last one. For weight reduction, they use a plastic toilet instead of the porcelain toilet that the Flying Cloud had. This has a tankless water heater on board and uh, the same vanity that we saw before. A little pantry here we missed by the door. And uh, other models would have the screen door guards built into them. Walk around the front, oh, rock guards versus uh, a 3M film for protection on rocks. Here's an oldie, this is a 2015 Airstream Bambi Sport. Eight feet wide, 16 feet long. Dry weight is about 3,100 pounds. Gross weight's 3,500 pounds. Manual hitch jack, two and five sixteenths inch ball, two 20 pound propane tanks, one deep cycle AGM battery, spare tires underneath, zip D awning, same screen door, come on in. This has the ultra leather inside, they're called Golden, and this dinette folds down and makes into a bed. You got your curtains across the front, timbre doors, two burner gas cooktop. This is a propane gas electric refrigerator, absorption refrigerator, microwave above, sink, storage here, 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 privacy curtain, pulls all the way across. So when you get out of the shower, if you're in the bed, you wanna get dressed back here. You got some privacy, you got a wardrobe back here. Underneath the bed, there's storage trunks and you can get to them from outside, so it's a pass-through storage. 48 by 78 bed, you got a nice window in the back, you get some storage there. TV swings around so you could use it when you're at the dinette. And the bathroom this is the wet bath, just like the base camp. It has a window in it, medicine cabinet, shower wands over there. You can turn it on and off from here. It's got a porcelain toilet, and that dumps into a combination gray waste black tank. So uh, you get 21 gallons combined in that. 24 gallon freshwater tank on this one as well. Dry erase board, some coat hooks over there. <clears throat> All right, we're moving on to bigger stuff now. I bet you guys, thanks for sticking around. There's a lot of cool stuff to see here. And uh, we have a 2017 International Signature Series, 27 FB floor plan. It's a front bedroom queen, 28 foot from ball to bumper, gross vehicle weight rating 7,600 pounds, dry weight is around 6,200 pounds. We're gonna leave links in the description to check out to our websites for this inventory so you can look at all the pricing of these different models. Uh, the pricing does change and inventory does change, so that's the most best way to kind of look at the pricing. Electric hitch jack up front, two 30 pound propane tanks, metal battery box with two AGM batteries, spare tires underneath. You got a front trunk compartment here. If you guys want to see this. <clears throat> Insulated, weather seal, lockable. Looks like they left behind the hitch system. A lot of people, when they trade in trailers, they get they buy new hitch systems, they leave behind their old. Zip D manual awning with umbrella material. Gas electric, six gallon water heater. Rubber torsion axle, 225-75 R15 inch tires. Never lube hubs, never just brakes. Double entry step. Heated tanks and closed underbelly stabilizer jacks all four corners. When you walk inside, see these screen door guards now? Vinyl flooring throughout, marine plywood, sorry, plywood floor with marine anti-wicking substance painted to the perimeter, it's tongue and groove. This is an awesome floor plan. This is in great shape too, 2017 trailer. Dinette table folds down and makes into a bed. You got that panoramic view out the back. This is the taupe ultra leather. This slides out, makes into a bed. TV over here, 12 volt, I'm sorry. This is a uh, gas electric water heater. This is a six cubic foot. You have center galley kitchen, solid surface countertop, nice size sink with storage below, trash panels down there. Pull out sprayer type faucet, ocean air roller shades, tank monitoring system. This has a an inverter on board, three burner gas cooktop with convection microwave below. Look at all the drawer storage, these are all 
pull extension. This has a wireless backup camera on it. Two fantastic fans, 15,000 B2 air conditioning with heat pump, all ducted so it's a quiet stream. Got some pantry storage here and here. On this side, you got your wardrobe, double doors. Look at this. And all these used trailers, you give you RB starter kit with new waste hose, water hose. Split bath, so privacy curtain here, another one over here, you shut the whole hallway down. Go inside the bathroom. Fun fact, this is the same shower they use, the shower enclosure for the 25, 27, 28, and the 30 RB models. It's just the floor cutout's different because that's where the wheel well is. When you walk inside at 5'9", I got plenty of room up top, plenty of volume to move your arms and clean your body. Walk around queen size bed, this is a lift up bed. Get to all your storage, you can even reach into the trunk in the front. Two nightstands, television in the bedroom. Look at all the windows up here. On a gloomy day, you got all that light in here. Cannot forget the bathroom. So you got your toilet, got a vanity, you got some storage up top, got a vent fan in there, and even the ducted air conditioning reaches inside there. This is a, this is a great buy, this one. Walk around back because it has the bike rack too. And the window awnings all the way around. Bumper storage, bike rack, to two bikes up to 77 pounds total. All right, let's walk down the row. <clears throat> this is what Airstreams are, are called SOB, some other brand. Maybe we'll look at that one. This is a, a Sport Bambi. They added the rear bumper kit. <clears throat> this is a 22 FB. And this is a model year 2017. Check out how light and airy this floor plan is. You got a large, straight away, you got a large wardrobe right here. Vinyl flooring throughout, tongue and groove plywood floor, U-shaped dinette, folds down, makes into a bed. You got aluminum blinds, 13,500 B2 air conditioning, skylight in the galley with a shade, larger bed, it's a little bit wider, a little bit longer. This bed lifts up to get to your additional storage below. Has a gas only water heater on board, blackout curtains, roll up timbre doors, double sink over here. Convection microwave and three burner, uh, sorry, two burner gas cooktop. Storage below the sink area, even a drawer for your silverware. And I like this uh, color here. In the back, you get your toilet, dumps into a separate black tank. You got a gray tank for your sinks and showers. You got your vanity and you got your shower enclosure over here with a retractable shower door. It's all for weight reduction because this trailer has a gross weight of 4,500 pounds and a dry weight around 3,700 pounds. All right, let's go check it out <clears throat> for fun. 2021 uh, Flagstaff Microlite. Now I can't rattle off all the specs on top of my head because I know my Airstreams, but you do have electric hitch jack, you got two 20 pound propane tanks, two probably just lead acid batteries. You got some storage compartments all locked up. Power awning, frameless windows. This is pretty cool. This step actually flips all the way into the body. Around back, there's a ladder and spare tire. Back uh, bumper, you take the caps off, you can sl slide your waist hose in there. So the big difference, like Airstreams have plywood with laminate for their cabinets. This is a mixture, like this is like a Luan board. So Airstream would use a three quarter inch ply or three eighths inch ply. And this is a, a sticker that's applied to it. And then the corners Airstream would use aluminum or solid oak. Uh, they butt it up with like melamine with a sticker, which is good. I mean, the price point of these things is, is so much less that um, it, it's very affordable for a lot of people. But look, you get solid surface countertop. There's a double sink in here, three burner gas cooktop. You can put your knives in here. You got a full gas oven on this model. I do like, this is a magic chef. Drawers are nice, they come all the way out, full extension. Got a dinette here, looks like this slides out as an extra leaf. This is a whole slide, look at this. Look at all that room, that would come out and this whole floor plan wide open. Uh, you got a walk around queen size bed up front, lifts up with some storage below. Hey, you got a front window, not too many uh, 
other trailers have front windows. This one does. I like it. Privacy curtain for the bedroom. TV, look, uh, stereo system. It says it's wired for solar. You got a fireplace in here, a leaf extension, some carpeting in the slide area, wardrobe. This is like a DIY. You know, some people buy other brand trailers just to get their feet wet, see if they like RVing before they make the plunge to go to an Airstream. Toilet, vanity. Yeah, I guess you could put your toothbrush in here and a little cup. Yeah, check it out. So I'm 5'9", without the skylight, it'd be a little tight, so they put the skylight in so you get the extra height. But look how much you have to step up to get in, that's probably why they do that. The plumbing is uh, probably above the floor, but there's a cabinet in here. Got another cabinet over here. Absorption style refrigerator, propane. And then the cool thing about it is like, you get the door out of your way, this thing goes up. That's it. Nice and easy, that's adjustable depending on the terrain. All right, moving on. It's got a hitch receiver in the back. This is a Flying Cloud 23 front bedroom, 23 foot nine inch, ball the bumper, 6,000 pound gross, 5,000 pound dry. You get the rear bumper, this has the optional window awning package. Of course it has the wireless backup camera. Final flooring throughout, double entry step, tankless water heater. This is a model year 2021, so it's pretty close to relevant to what we have new. Ah, this one has the dinette already somewhat folded into a bed. You can see these all squeezed together. And you got a bed, you can take those pieces, put them underneath. You got upper roof locker storage. This is called Seattle Mist interior decor. JL Audio, this is uh, old enough that it still has a Blu-ray player. Walk around queen size bed, bed lifts up for additional storage underneath. You got a wardrobe in the bedroom, privacy curtain, fantastic fan, 13,500 B2, ducted air conditioning. Also has a TV that swivels around so you could use it in your living space. Airstream Smart where they place their things. Wardrobe over here. This is uh, 2021, so it still had the 12 volt, I'm sorry, the compressor style fridge, absorption fridge. They switched to 12 volt the following year, which is what we do today. Convection microwave upgrade and a gas oven on board. Three burner gas cooktop, cooktop ventilation, 90 watts of solar on a roof, 1000 watt pure sign inverter, sink, slide out pantry, some more storage here. You got some more storage here. I hope that we eventually get to your favorite models that you guys have been waiting to see. Thanks for sticking around. Toilet dumps into a black tank. You got your vanity, you got some controls and tank monitoring over here. Glass shower door, you gotta see inside. Nice size in here, right? I even have my boots on, so I'm a little bit taller than I would be if I was actually standing in a shower without my shoes on. Walk around the front, we got some more. Here's a, one of the storage compartments. It's got the zip the awning with some other material too. This one also includes the hitch bars. Two and five sixteenth inch ball, two 30 pound propane tanks, electric hitch jack, two AGM batteries. This is another Sport 22 FB. This is a different model here. I think this is a 2019. Just by looking at it, I can tell the difference. Very similar to one we just did, so we'll do go through this one quicker. But they added a lot of DIY stuff. They put in this beautiful teak marine table. It's got like rubber in it, so whatever you put doesn't slide around. It's got the lip. It's got the edge so you can wipe the crumbs out. Uh, just like the last one, you got the front bed. They added this extra accent to the top of the curtains. They added this, maybe you could hook things onto it. They added these bars here so you could strap stuff up here. There's the wardrobe loaded with stuff. Same bathroom, toilet, shower, vanity. It's fun when you have multiples on the lot. Like people get excited when you have one used Airstream that they like, but if you have two of the same, it really gives them a good selection. Over here, we got a 2018 19 CB, 19 corner bed, Flying Cloud. Now the Flying Cloud was built between 2009 
and all the way up until 20, 2020, basically, in the 19CB. Now it's transitioned over to Caravel and Bambi, uh, but it's good to see one of these older flying clouds. You get the never loop hubs, never just brakes, shotgun each wheel, rubber torsion axle, aluminum step, screen door guards, heavy duty rock guards up front, electric hitch jack, metal battery box. This has two AGM batteries, two 30 pound propane tanks. In here, you got your uh, front dining table. This is uh, the lighter color ultra leather. It looks nice. Got a drawer underneath, fresh water tank, storage here. Fantastic fan up top, sink, three burner gas cooktop, convection microwave, cooktop ventilation, roof locker storage here. And uh, they did a DIY curtain, but we had them bring in the original privacy shade. Some people would rather have it the original way. So this could be put in if whoever buys it wants it. TV's over here. This fills the gap when the curtain goes across. Four cubic foot gas electric refrigerator, 48 by 75 bed, same bathroom door we've been seeing repeatedly. A lot of these things repeat over and over in all the different models, but you have the toilet dumps into the black tank, same shower we saw in some of the other models. This is a really nice, clean, clean trailer. Whoever buys this is, is really gonna be happy with this one. <clears throat> Now, Lance. Lance is a, a high quality, some other brand trailer. This is uh, really cool. It's been here for a while. I'm not sure uh, why it hasn't sold yet, but it's in excellent condition. Electric hitch jack, your propane tanks up front here. The construction, instead of this being a piece of rubber, you know, it's, it's an aluminum piece. This is uh, rolled fiberglass up the front. Uh, this is a four season trailer. It's got the really nice slam lock. Uh, compartment doors, has side cameras on board, has uh, plastic dual pane windows, double axle, low center of gravity. It's got this uh, funky adjustable step, which is pretty cool. It's just, it just takes a little bit while to get used to. Big grab handle to get in. One of the highlights of this one is this whole back area like slides open, becomes like a, a cold cooking area. It's got a hitch receiver for a bike rack, lockable back trunk, like totally different than that Flagstaff we saw. This is like almost Airstream level of cool stuff. When you go inside, it's got a plastic inner door, you got a window in the door with a shade, insect screen. U-shaped dinette. Now look at this. Window, 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 skylight. Nice and bright in here. Uh, these are uh, like foam core cabinet doors. Just keep the weight down. Okay, your stereo system over here. This has the Truma heating system. The two burner gas cooktop sink. Nice drawers over here. You can kind of move these things around. Has solar on the roof, microwave, TV, little wireless speaker bathroom's pretty cool vessel style sink little vanity fan porcelain toilet up a pedestal there so the black tank must be underneath it and this you have to step up quite a bit to get inside so five nine I'm above the ceiling height into the skylight dome uh, but you got your shower wand over here you got a little organizer for shampoo conditioner and uh, like this rubbery shower door keeps the weight down vinyl flooring throughout you know I noticed too like the floor feels thicker than the flagstaff floor like it doesn't flex as much when you're walking around inside look at this bedroom skylight you got a front stargazer type window you got the side one here you got a lot of light and room in this bedroom a walk around queen size bed I, believe, I think the weight's around 6,000 pounds on this one and this is like a melamine countertop with a sticker applied. Same thing as this. It looks like it'd be like solid surface, but it's not. <clears throat> ah, there's more. Come on, let's go find them. So here's something fun, original base camp. I owned a 2007 base camp, the ninth one they built. This is a 20, 2008, but it's amazing how far the base camp has come since then. It's still a cool product back then. Look at the rims and tires. 
the little bars here on the side. Airstream and Nissan Design actually designed this whole concept and made it into reality. You got the roof racks up top, kind of looks like a Nissan Xterra, right, from that time frame. This customer added a spare tire bracket here to the front. You got your propane tank in here, and you also have a, like a window air conditioning unit. Manual hitch jack that kicks up. It's not an A-frame construction. It's more of like a pipe frame like the early 50s Airstream trailers. You got these fender wells over. You got signature panoramic view all the way around. If this one's open, I would love to show it to you. Haha, <laughs> we're in luck. Now, di different from like the base camp we have today, there's no side entry door. It's just out the back. So, let's see. I think we'll get it. There we go. So this is the way in and out, which was, is cool, but it also made it harder. Like you have to reach down and lower the step while you're inside to, to climb out. But you can put motorcycle ramps and drive a little quad or motorcycle up into this. And uh, they didn't have heat. They didn't have a toilet. There wasn't a shower. It was uh, more really a base camp. Uh, they would, originally they would come with like optional Kelty bags that would store here, an optional TV that would go here, uh, more Kelty bags that would go here, but they did a lot of DIY stuff because everybody was using them a different way. They upgraded the floor from the original rubber floor to a click together, like a residential, but look how much room you have when the beds are folded up. Now, when it's not, and when it's time for bed or time to hang out, these flip down. Now I remember from having mine, you gotta watch your fingers, you don't wanna pinch them. And I did a lot of cool stuff with mine. Uh, I put a pedestal table in the middle that would strap underneath here and you could sit down, you, you could have people sit at a table here. It slides out and makes into a bed. These both slide out on both sides. You gotta keep that straight and it meet in the middle. And then you're supposed to sleep this way or Definitely not that way. It was a little tight at 5.9, but it worked. But all these cushions assemble in the middle, and then you take these off the wall and you stick them underneath. Uh, galley kitchen, this is where the sink would have been originally. This customer made this like PVC type sink. They wanted it in the front for some reason. You got organizers under here. It's got a little microwave. It doesn't have like a water tank underneath built in. It's a water jug. And then they added a fridge. I had like a little portable cooler in mine. Single burner cooktop. And then it has these little cubbies you could store stuff in. And then the racks over the years, they kind of sagged down. It's got a skylight in here. They upgraded the LED lights. It's got a little vent. So if you're carrying gasoline on board with motorcycles, you have a way to vent it out. And a stereo up front, but super cool. It's cool to, to see one. This is for sale. Give us a call if you're interested in that one. We'll figure it out. A Nest, I got two of these now. Both 2020s. One's a U, which is the U-shaped donut. One's an FB, which is the front bed. Really cool looking. I'm a huge fan of the Nest. Different than the Lance, how it was like rolled fiberglass. This is heavy cast. I mean, this is tough stuff, which made it heavy. You know, it's a 4,000 pound gross weight, but uh, people love the quality. And look at that cool windshield in the front. Nose cone opens up. You can get to a single propane tank, two batteries, AGM batteries. No solar from the factory. Manual hitch jack, two and five sixteenth inch ball. Power awning, but no side door. The door's in the back on these. Tankless water heater, huge 16 inch rims and tires. Aluminum entry step in the back to get in. And this one's not open. Come on, we'll keep going. Maybe there's another one. There's another one over here. Same thing on the outside as the last one. But look at this, you got a retractable screen here. The shade in the door. And the last one, it was identical on the inside, except it just had a mattress up front. This is the U-shaped done. It gives you a lot of flexibility. You still get that panoramic view all around. You got two windows here, two windows here, a window in the bathroom. Uh, but the U-shaped done, this whole thing folds and makes into a bed and all the extra bolster cushions you store underneath. 
This bench lifts up and there's two more tables that you can assemble here because you could have a whole party in here. There's accent lights under the cabinets, nice size sink, two burner gas cooktop, little cubbies here to store some stuff, drawers, more storage here, microwave, 12 volt refrigerator, Norcold refrigerator. Rooftop air conditioning, 13,500 BTU. Access to some of your system controls and the bathroom. <clears throat> There's a wet bath. Toilets in here, shower wand. You got a little ledge made out of Corian. Some storage over here. You got your frosted window. I love this design. My dream was always to demount one of these off the chassis and put it on the back of like a cutaway sprinter, make like a really cool overland vehicle. Uh, in here's the wardrobe. It's cedar lined, power cords in there. Super, super cool. These are both gonna go quick because there's a, there's a cult following to these. Even though they don't make any anymore, people want them. Over here we have a new camp tab. This is the boondock edition. Tab 400 boondock. This is uh, nice. These are like marine lockers instead of like storage hatches that you could, you could lock and they're weather sealed. This guy put cameras all the way around. You got solar panels up top. Has that high departure angle like the base camp. It's fiberglass, rolled fiberglass, plastic strips. You got a keter rail like the base camp has, so you could slide in an awning. Plastic windows. See, so airstreams have uh, tempered glass windows, which are great. The cell on this is their dual pane, so you get a little bit thermal, but they do discolor and fade over time and scratch easily, so you gotta be careful and take really good care of them. Uh, this has the upgraded rims and tires because it's part of the boondock. It's supposed to be light enough that uh, you could put a jockey wheel in the front, push it around, that's what these handles are for. It's got the heavy duty rock guards up front. It's got this rack, you could store stuff. It's got this little tool chest. You could store some more stuff. And it doesn't have air conditioning up top. It has air conditioning. It's called basement air conditioning. Is this one even open? Yes. Look at this little window. Look at the shade inside. It's cute, but you can peek out and see who's knocking on your door, right? You can't really do it on it's a lot of the airstreams. A frosted window, you can't see through it. Big grab handle to get in. Retractable screen doors over here. This is the lid to the trash can. We'll put that in there. Little tiny dinette. Swivel table. Makes it to a bed for a little kid. You got some storage pocket back here. Pockets over here. Up top, you got insect screen and shade. You know, up until recently, a lot of manufacturers never had front windows, but everything that we looked at today has a front window, which is great. Usually it's just a big wall and you don't get to see outside. For a small trailer, I think the gross weight's like 4,000 pounds on this, but you got two burner gas cooktop, sink. This has lithium batteries on board. You got a microwave, roof locker storage here. You can stuff some stuff here. Your TV could be on a swivel. You could assemble the bed differently if you needed to. It's got the Froley sleep system. It's a double bed. And then if you want some more light, Boom. You got your whole shade. Isotherm 12 volt refrigerator. Mini, mini freezer. I, I, you can't put ice cream in it. Oh, this is magnetic. You can't put ice cream in that, but you can put ice pops. You got a little stereo, a drawer, a big drawer over here. Now you guys want to see the bathroom. Look at that. That's pretty big. You step up again, um, you got a vessel style sink, toilet, dumps into a black tank, a fan in there, you got another fan over there. And where's that air conditioning? It's right here. It's a basement air conditioning. Uh, very efficient. Small BTUs, but it does the job. <clears throat> so over here is a good example of a good entry level, good value line travel trailer. If you want to just start camping and you, you want to get your feet wet, it's light enough. I, I think the gross weight's 5,000 pounds. This is what they call a stick and tin. And the reason is, is it's got a steel frame, but it's it's wood on the inside and tin. It's, it's siding that all clicks together. It really speeds up the production process. A lot of the money that you pay for an RV is not just in the materials, it's in the labor time to build them. They could build this in an eight hour shift in and out of the factory. You got Airstreams in production at well over a week, up to two weeks on some of them. But it's basic, you got a manual hitch jack, single propane tank, regular lead acid battery, power awning, it's got that. It's got nice size rims and tires, not the little tiny little wagon wheel ones. 
And uh, inside, <clears throat> vinyl flooring. Now you can feel it's a flake board floor, so it flexes a little bit, but it's good. Sticker cabinets over a uh, Luan board. A double bed on an angle in the front for length. You know, if this is a longer one, I'm sure they'd have a walk around queen. It's got a TV over here. Now look at this, a huge, I would call this a full wall slide. It goes all the way to the back. Got a U-shaped dinette, folds into a bed. You got this little sofa. This folds out, makes into a bed. And I think they did a DIY on this. I try to figure it out. Oh yeah, look at this. They needed to sleep one more person, so they made this DIY bunk. I'm sure they had a mattress for it. You can see it's um, like the uh, flake board wood that they use in the construction of these, which is fine. It's, it keeps the cost down. A really skinny two burner gas cooktop saves space. The cabinet's held shut with Velcro instead of like the J latches that keeps the cost down. You got some more storage here. Got the covers. It's uh, like a melamine material with a sticker. You can see the difference. So Airstream, they have plastic or Corian sink covers, but their cabinets will be made out of plywood with laminate with edge banding. So they could get wet and not swell up, but it's still okay. Furion microwave, some storage over here. Everchill, this is more of like a residential type refrigerator, which are way less money than a RV specific refrigerator. But man, this thing's on, it's, it's cranking, I feel it's cold, so let's, uh, let's shut that off. Uh, regular Coleman mock air conditioning, non-ducted. It's got a, instead of a fantastic fan, it's got the little crank up. Check out, that's the fan right there. It'll do its job when you need to cook. It'll get the exhaust out because there's no cooktop vent. In the back, you got some storage, some code hooks, and it's got a little corner bath, shower. So it's got um, like a plastic wall membrane. Keeps the weight down, cost down. Another one of these fans. Plastic sink, plastic faucet. Airstream would use a stainless steel sink. I mean, we're talking a major price difference, so I'm not mocking this trail. I think it's a great value for a family that's looking to get into the whole camping lifestyle and not spend a ton of money. I've got one more to show you. This is a Highland Ridge Open Range Roamer. Just in the nick of time, it started pouring out there. So let's turn on some lights. Look at this. For a $25,000 trailer, this is a 2017 model year. Again, it's a Highland Ridge Open Range Roamer. I think it's a 292 RLS. Look at this lounge in the back, island kitchen, solid surface countertop, double sink here. Nice size eight cubic foot fridge, three burner cooktop, range hood, little microwave over here. Nice drawer construction, full extensions. Look at all the storage down this aisle here. Now what's great about this is it's great when it's set up, right? You got it set up at the campground. Look how big it is. When you're driving and when you're towing, if you want to stop somewhere, you really can only get to the bathroom. Uh, the bedroom's kind of blocked off. These two slides meet up right up to the island, so you can't walk this way. You might be able to reach into the fridge and grab something if you need to. So it is nice if you're gonna be set up somewhere for a while. I've got a wardrobe, TV entertainment system, fireplace. This is a sofa bed back here. You get the nice windows in the back. And over here you got some recliners. And uh, you know, the leather's okay. The guy didn't use it that much, but uh, the leather, the ultra leather, you know, started uh, trip. I don't think it's actually ultra leather because Airstream uses ultra leather. We don't see this happening. So it might be another brand. Back here, there's a dining table, freestanding chairs that all strap in when you're towing. They put some piping there just to keep them from rattling against each other. Bathroom, <clears throat> look at this. Really nice, you know, porcelain toilet, plastic sink, plastic faucet. Keeps it, you know, keeps the price point down. Uh, shower has a little skylight in it, but it's a lot taller. You got a lot more headroom in this trailer than some of the other ones we're in. And then this way, look at this. Dual air conditioning, so it's got dual ACs and it's ducted air. Walk around queen size bed. I'm sure it lifts up for additional storage, as yes, it does. And some nice details in here. It's got this wardrobe, but it also has drawers inside the wardrobe. 
storage back here, roof locker storage, and you got more storage there. Carpeting in the bedroom, vinyl flooring throughout the rest. And then outside, which we're not going to be able to see, which was pouring out, is an outside entertainment area. It's got an outside kitchen. Well, hope you enjoyed the tour of a lot of different travel trailers used here at Colonial Airstream during our Discover America sales event. Please follow us on the website at colonialairstream.com. Our telephone number is 800-265-9019. Please check us out on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We'll see you next time.